Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa has received a cable of congratulations from His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, on the outstanding success of the second edition of the Bahrain International Defence Exhibition and Conference, BIDEC 2019, held under His Majesty the King's patronage. His Royal Highness the Premier stressed that the success of the prestigious event is the fruitful outcome of His Majesty the King's support for the Kingdom's security and anti-terror efforts, as well as for enhancing the military competence of the Bahrain Defence Force, the BDF, which has become a protective shield of the nation and is a source of pride. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister affirmed his pride in His Majesty King Hamid's leadership, wishing Bahrain further progress and prosperity under His Majesty the King's leadership. His Majesty the King sent a cable of thanks to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister in response to his congratulatory cable on the success of Bahrain International Defence Exhibition and Conference. His Majesty affirmed this success supports international events to achieving security and stability. He praised the efforts of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for the various achievements that Bahrain is witnessing in various fields. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa has received a cable of congratulations from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, a Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, on the outstanding success of the second edition of the Bahrain International Defence Exhibition and Conference, BIDEC 2019, held under His Majesty the King's patronage. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince stressed that the success of the prestigious event adds to the Kingdom's rich record of landmark achievements affirming that the wide participation of international delegations confirms His Majesty the King's keenness to enhance the military readiness of the BDF through providing it with the latest equipment so as to continue playing its role in strengthening global security and peace. His Royal Highness prayed to Allah the Almighty to guide His Majesty the King on the right path to success and to bless him with abundant health and happiness. His Majesty the King sent a cable of thanks to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince in response to his congratulatory cable on the success of Bahrain International Defence Exhibition and Conference. His Majesty affirmed that this success reflects the military and defence readiness of the Kingdom, which contributes to achieving security and stability. He praised the efforts of His Royal Highness in ensuring the march of progress in the Kingdom and achieving sustainable development. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa has received a cable of congratulations from the BDF Commander-in-Chief, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa on the outstanding success of the second edition of BIDEC 2019. The Commander-in-Chief stressed that His Majesty the King's care and sound directives have contributed to the success of the prestigious event at all levels. He wished His Majesty King Hamid abundant health and happiness and further progress and prosperity to the Kingdom under His Majesty the King's leadership. In response, His Majesty the King sent a cable of thanks to Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed on the occasion. His Majesty the King affirmed that the efforts of the people of Bahrain in various levels are a source of pride and the positive results achieved during the event are proof of these efforts that led to the success. His Majesty hailed the efforts of the BDF Commander-in-Chief in developing military systems to achieve growth for the Kingdom. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa has received a cable of congratulations from National Guard Commander General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa on the outstanding success of the second edition of Bahrain International Defence Exhibition and Conference, BIDEC 2019, held under His Majesty the King's patronage. His Highness stressed that the success of the prestigious event adds to the Kingdom's rich record of landmark achievements and praised the wide participation of international delegations. He hailed the patronage of His Majesty the King and praised the efforts of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work in Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of the Supreme Organising Committee of BIDEC, Major General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in presenting the event in a perfect manner that enhances the status of the Kingdom globally. His Highness wished the Kingdom further progress and prosperity under the leadership of His Majesty the King. In reply, His Majesty the King sent a reply cable in which he thanked His Highness on the occasion of the success of the second edition of BIDEC. His Majesty expressed pride in the efforts of Bahraini citizens that contributed to the positive results of the event. His Majesty hailed the efforts of the BDF Commander-in-Chief in developing the national military system. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sikhir Palace the Director of the Institute of Oriental Studies of the Russian Academy of Sciences, Vitaly Nemankin, among his visit to the Kingdom. The Professor then delivered the following speech.
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة ملك البلاد المفدى حفظه الله ورعاه أيها الضيوف الكرام السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته يلقي سعادة البروفيسور فيتالي نعونكي رئيس مجلس أمناء معهد الدراسات الشرقية التابع لأكاديمية العلوم الروسية كلمة أمام جلالتكم الخليفة ملك البحرين الموقع السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بالنظر إلى الدور البارز الذي قام به جلالتكم في مجال حوار الحضارات والتعايش السلمي بين الأديان منذ تولي جلالتكم الحكم في مملكة البحرين عام 1999 وحتى اليوم إن قيام جلالتكم تأسيسي مركز الملك حمد العالمي للتعايش السلمي وتدشين كرسي الملك حمد للحوار بين الأديان والتعايش السلمي في جامعة سيف بينزا الإيطالية هما خطوتان مهمتان من أجل نشر ثقافة التسامح وتعزيز مبدأ التعايش والحوار والتي تعتبر ركيزة أساسية للمجتمعات لمحاربة كل أنواع العنف والتطرف والتمييز والكراهية ونشر رسالة السلام التي ينبغي أن تكون أساسا للعلاقات الدولية وعنصرا هاما للحد من الحروب والصراعات في جميع بقاع العالم وفي مجال العلاقات بين مملكة البحرين وروسيا الاتحادية في مجال الثقافة والعلوم والتكنولوجيا وفي هذا المجال بالذات يثمن ومعهد الدراسات الشرقية التابع لأكاديمية العلوم الروسية تقديرا عاليا السياسة التي تقودها جلالتكم في تعزيز وتطوير هذه العلاقات في مختلف المجالات العلاقات المبنية على الاحترام المتبادل وتحقيق المصالح المشتركة للبلدين وشعبيهما الصديقين ومن أجل هذه المبادرات والإنجازات فقد قرر المجلس العلمي ومجلس الأمناء لمعهد معهد الدراسات الشرقية التابع لأكاديمية العلوم الروسية منح جلالتكم الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة ملك مملكة البحرين وسام إغناطوس كراشكوفسكي وهما من المؤسس الأكبر لعلم الاستعراب في روسيا ويعتبر هذا الوسام أعلى تقدير من قبل مؤسستنا الأكاديمية العريقة التي تأسست عام 1818 للدور البارز لجلالتكم في نشر قيم السلام والوسطية والاعتدال في العالم ولدوركم الكبير في تعزيز علاقات التعاون بين الدول والشعوب في كل العالم والسلام عليكم Then the Director General presented His Majesty with the Order of Ignatius Kraczowski in appreciation of His Majesty's leading role in promoting the values of Islam, moderation and strengthening friendly relations and cooperation between countries and the peoples of the world. His Majesty the King welcomed the Professor and expressed thanks and appreciation for the medal and praised the statue of the Institute as one of the most important international research institutions, hailing the achievements it made since its establishment in various political, scientific and cultural fields. His Majesty affirmed the importance of dialogue among civilizations, cultures and religions and promoting communication and peace. He also affirmed the depth of relations between Bahrain and Russia and the advanced level of joint cooperation, especially in the field of cultural exchange and scientific research, which witnesses constant development. His Majesty the King hailed the role of Russian President Vladimir Putin and his efforts in establishing historic relations between the two countries, wishing Russia further progress and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa received at Sakir Palace the President of the International Peace Institute, the IPI, Terry Rod Larson, where His Majesty noted the vital role of the Institute in preparing research and studies and organising international events that focus on supporting efforts aimed at achieving world peace. His Majesty hailed the cooperation between Bahrain and the IPI, aimed at serving security and stability affairs in the region and spreading peace and tolerance. His Majesty affirmed Bahrain's stance in support of all endeavours to enhance security and stability and spread the values and principles of peace at the regional and international levels. His Majesty commended the efforts of the President of the IPI and his endeavours to maintain peace. 
For his part, IPI President praised the efforts of the Kingdom, led by His Majesty the King, and its endeavours to secure security and stability causes and to contribute to spreading peace and coexistence. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, sent a congratulatory cable to the National Security Advisor, Royal Guard Commander and Chairman of the High Organising Committee of the second edition of the Bahrain International Defence Exhibition and Conference, BIDEC 2019. His Highness Major General, Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the outstanding success of BIDEC 2019, which was patronised by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness hailed His Highness's efforts that contributed to the success of the event, affirming that this achievement is a new addition to Bahrain's achievements made during the leadership of His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness wished His Highness Sheikh Nasser success in the efforts that contribute to the advancement and prosperity of the Kingdom. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, delivered a message to the world on World Cities Day, which is titled this year as Better City, Better Life. In the message, His Royal Highness affirmed that Bahrain has built new cities as part of its comprehensive plan of urban development, which are in the line with its strategy to meet future challenges. His Royal Highness affirmed that the urban modernisation process that Bahrain is witnessing, under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, focuses on a number of principles which guarantee sustainability, in line with Bahrain's economic vision 2030. His Royal Highness said that Bahrain is experiencing an expansion in its cities thanks to the mainly government housing programmes which are being carried out in partnership with the support of the private sector. His Royal Highness said that World Cities Day represents an opportunity to reinforce efforts across the world to improve standards in living in cities a sustainable manner and that Bahrain is accomplishing through its various programmes in the fields of medical, care, education and others. His Royal Highness called for offering more help to countries that need to achieve a degree of sustainable development through offering economic incentives and an overall improvement in the quality of life. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, a Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Saman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received a cable of congratulations from the National Guard Commander, General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa, on the success of the second edition of the Bahrain International Defence Exhibition and Conference, BIDEC 2019. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa stressed the outstanding success of the prestigious event as to the Kingdom's rich record of landmark achievements. He stressed that His Royal Highness Crown Prince's constant follow-up Opening of Biotech 2019 and inspection of the exhibition's pavilions have contributed to ensuring the success of the world event and projecting a bright image of the Kingdom as the best destination for various international events thanks to the sound visions and directors of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, issued directives to restructure internal audit processes within government in order to further strengthen internal auditing and accountability measures. The directive was announced during a meeting of the Government Executive Committee, which reviewed the 2018-2019 to National Audit Office NAO, report and outlined procedural and administrative measures taken to address the causes of non-compliance, broken down as follows. Ten cases of criminal nature have been referred to the public prosecution. Cases include two violations from the Ministry of Information Affairs, three violations from the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs, one violation from Badea Cultural Sports Club, one violation from Al Najma Sports Club, one violation from the University of Bahrain, one violation from the Electricity and Water Authority, one from the Bahrain Petroleum Company and Babco. 26 cases will be referred to the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs for the Assessment Internal Investigation Committee. 406 cases of procedural violations to be addressed by administrative measures in order to prevent recurrence. His Royal Highness reiterated the importance of swiftly applying these oversight recommendations, especially in cases of non-compliance, in order to safeguard public funds. He underscored the government's commitment to further strengthen the remit and capabilities of supervisory administrative agencies, which will help facilitate the Kingdom reaching its desired development goals to benefit all Bahraini citizens. 
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince stressed the importance and objectivity and transparency when addressing all non-compliance cases included in the report in order to ensure continued quality management for operations involved with public service delivery. The Crown Prince praised the commitment of the Kingdom's laws and regulations from the vast majority of government employees and for the exceptional quality of the services they provide to the citizens and residents, which continue to strengthen citizens' trust in the public services. His Royal Highness concluded by expressing appreciation for the efforts made by the NAO's President and his employees in preparing this year's annual report, which has become essential to safeguarding public funds. The personal representative of His Majesty the King and the Chairman of the Supreme Council for the Environment, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, paid a visit today to the second edition of BIDEC 2019. His Highness praised the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and praised the Kingdom's hosting of the event, which reflects his status on the regional and international levels. He also praised the role of the National Security Advisor, Royal Guard Commander and Chairman of the Supreme Organising Committee of BIDEC, Major General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa and his keenness to ensure the success of the conference in order to enhance the status of the Kingdom. He affirmed that BIDEC contributes to enhance the modern technological production and heal the capabilities and experience of Bahrain in this regard that helps to achieve global security, stability and sustainable development. His Highness exchanged talks with senior officials who are exhibiting in the event regarding the new mechanisms and technologies in addition to the positive outcomes of BIDEC. Upon arrival, His Highness was received by Major General His Highness Sheikh Nasser, the Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications, Engineer Kamal bin Ahmed Mohammed, and a number of senior officials. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Working Youth Affairs and National Security Advisor, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Royal Guard Commander and Chairman of the Supreme Organising Committee of BIDEC 2019, Major General His Highness Sheikh Nas bin Hamad Al Khalifa expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for patronising the event. He said the event raises the status of the Kingdom globally, especially in the military and security fields. He added that thanks to the patronage of His Majesty the King, BIDEC was able to create a positive reputation, reflecting the contributions of the Kingdom on the regional and international levels. His Highness held a tour of BIDEC and expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, for inaugurating the conference on behalf of His Majesty the King. He praised His Royal Highness's efforts in enhancing the status of Bahrain through enhancing the defence, military and technology sectors and raising their competitiveness in various fields. His Highness praised the success of BIDEC 2019 and praised the participation of a large number of officials who gathered to discuss the latest developments in defence and technology fields. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Major General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with the Under Secretary for International Affairs at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, President of BIDEC Organising Committee and President of Bahrain Centre for Strategic International and Energy Studies, Dirasat, Sheikh Dr Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Nasser hailed the development of preparing studies and research for BIDEC, asserting the importance of these studies in creating a scientific atmosphere that is in accordance with the presence of senior military leaders experts and representatives of major companies that manufacture military defence equipment. He noted the quantum leap in this year's BIDEC in terms of the number of participants and decision makers who enriched the conference with their points of view and interests. The Under Secretary for International Affairs expressed appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Nasser for the commendation and asserted that BIDEC became one of the conference and exhibitions that attract enthusiasts from various world regions. He also highlighted the advanced level of the military equipment that exhibitors showcased. His Majesty the King's representative for Charity Work and Youth Affairs and National Security Advisor, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Major General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met with the members of the BIDEC Supreme Organising Committee, where he hailed the organisation and size of the conference and exhibition, as well as its presentations of military mechanisms and discussions. His Highness affirmed the importance of developing new conferences, which gave a new dimension to the level of conferences in Bahrain, and stressed that the presence of senior military leaders, 
experts and representatives of major companies that manufacture military defence equipment increased the importance of the event, adding that the number of companies and the quality of exhibits successfully attracted enthusiasts. For their part, the organising committee members expressed thanks to His Highness Sheikh Nasser for his commendation and affirmed that they will continue to develop in order to place Bahrain among the countries that host exhibitions and conferences and promote it as a strategic centre in maintaining cooperation and cross relations between regional and international allies. The Representatives Council, chaired by its Speaker Fasiya bint Abdullah Zainal, held yesterday its fourth regular meeting of the second ordinary session of the fifth legislative term. After meeting, the Council Secretary General Arasha Nujma issued a statement that included the main decisions and suggestions listed on the agenda of the session. The Council also reviewed the list of nominations for the members of the qualitative committees adopted by the Bureau of the Council. With regard to the request made by a number of MPs to discuss the government's educational policy in Bahrain, the Council decided to approve the request and to submit the topic for public discussion and set next week's session for reviewing it. The President of Sustainable Energy Authority, Dr Abdul Hussein bin Ali Mirza, inaugurated the 8th Annual Human Resources Management Conference, organised by Roshkom in the presence of pres presidents of companies and organisations specialists in human resources. Dr Mirza delivered an opening speech in which he expressed thanks to His Majesty the King for the strategy he followed in prioritising human resources development, which placed the Kingdom among advanced countries in this field. He added that it is essential to human resources officials in government institutions and the private sector keep pace with the development of technology and adapt it to digitalisation and advances in the field of artificial intelligence, which His Majesty the King mentioned during his speech at the opening of the fifth legislative term of the National Council. On behalf of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, the Minister of Oil, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, inaugurated the 11th edition of the International Conference and Exhibition on Chemistry in Industry. The event is organised by the American Chemical Society, represented by the Saudi branch of International Chemistry, in coordination with the National Oil and Gas Authority, and supported by Saudi Aramco and a number of local and international companies. The Minister expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for patronising the event, which is one of the most important conferences and exhibitions in the oil and chemical industry, and for the government's continuous support. He pointed out that this conference is an opportunity for sharing the latest experiences and providing the best management and technical practices, and reviewing the best innovative solutions to promote development in the industry. Sheikh Mohammed commended the Bahraini government's keenness to support this type of specialised events that benefits the economy, knowledge and development system and enhances exchanging information, expertise and participating in capacity building and skills. He stated that the performance of Bahrain oil companies affiliated to the National Oil and Gas Authority are using the best practices and advanced technologies to improve its work in various fields. The Minister concluded by expressing thanks and appreciation to the leadership for supporting the oil and gas sector, which achieved positive results in ensuring sustainability of economic growth in the Kingdom. He also thanked the President of the Conference, Fahad al Mahish, for his efforts in preparing and organising the event, the keynote speakers, chairpersons, participating delegations and exhibitors wishing them success. Chemindex for the 11th uh, season is being held under uh, the patronage of His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister. It is a very important event and conference with support from the uh, national oil companies here in Bahrain, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and the region with the support of international companies. It looks at various topics. It is under the support of the American uh, Chemical Society and the uh, Saudi chapter of the American Chemical Society. Uh, they look at various topics ranging from uh, innovation in material science. We are looking at uh, production uh, and exploration technologies, refining and petrochemicals. Uh, we're looking at the, uh, the carbon cycle and uh, as well the digital transformation with artificial intelligence. All of these are topics covered by an extensive technical program that's been uh, aligned by the advisory committee and the organizing committee of the conference. Uh, so a lot of things are happening and uh, it's very much related to the topics of the conference. Uh, but the conference theme mainly is innovation and it's either innovation the topics that are being handled innovation innovative materials and I talk about innovative materials more of materials not just for the industry but also for the general public and for general use so 
important shifts that we've seen from different uh, from the past uh, events. I'm looking forward to all the talks and the panels. The circular carbon area is very interesting to me, uh, as well as the whole area of breakthrough innovations that allow us to use and get much more expansion in this whole area of um, products from the oil industry. So I say uh, many thanks to all the sponsors and from the American Chemical Society. We are very pleased with the representation. And also to those who have been able to attend this meeting, we again really hope they will also feel very strong and very good about the science that they will have learned this week. The Middle East Military Technology Conference, MEMTEC, concluded today after having been held since October the 29th. The conference took place over five sessions in which presentations and discussions were held and a variety of topics in military technology were discussed, including the current status of the technology, cyber defence strategies, the influence of artificial intelligence on the performance of armies, the role of military technology in preparing for potential wars and the future of military technology in the Middle East. The participants in MEMTEC agreed that preventing terrorist organisations from using military technology is a top priority, that the attacks on the oil tankers in the UAE and in the Gulf of Oman represent a misuse of military technology, that the digital revolution has given rise to growing cyber security threats, that artificial intelligence is a key in security of the marine security, that the Gulf states must take all precautionary measures to maintain their security, that the forces that threaten the region's security also threaten the world at large. Based on the outcomes of the conference's discussions, a number of resolutions have been put forth which state that the military technology is key in fighting existing common threats and that should be integrated into national security strategies of countries, that the international community must work together through the UN to prevent armed militia from using military technology for non-peaceful ends, that this technology must become central to anti-terrorist strategies, that marine security is a top priority for the international community to address and protect and that artificial intelligence should be used to reinforce the capabilities of countries' armies. The participants then extended their thanks to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for his patronage of the conference, as well as BIDEC, to the Commander of the Royal Guard and Head of the High Organising Committee, Major General, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, for ensuring that the conference is a success. The Middle East Military Technology Conference concluded its activities following discussions about the future of the defence industry in the region and the wider globe. More in this report with Mohammed Al Shaban. The Middle East Military Technology Conference MEMTEC concluded its activities on Wednesday. The conference took place alongside one of the biggest military and defence exhibitions in the region, BIDEC 2019. There's a fine balance between the exhibition and the uh, conference. Uh, this year we have uh, selected the theme of uh, military uh, technology in the Middle East. We have seen how military technology is developing in a very rapid uh, manner and it has been affecting the crisis uh, and the regional developments uh, in, the, in the Arabian Gulf and, and the wider Middle East. Memtech covered different topics ranging from issues related to the future of military technology to cyber defense strategies and the use of artificial intelligence in the defense industry. So far, the MEMTEC conference has been very successful because it's bringing together a group of uh, military experts, academics, and uh, officers as well in the region to discuss very uh, new and innovative uh, fields within military technologies. And like you mentioned about in artificial intelligence and uh, different cyber security, cyber defense policies. And it's very important that it's being done here in Bahrain because it shows that Bahrain has uh, it's always considering itself at the forefront of uh, discussions and uh, bringing people together on these different and uh, very encapsulating uh, topics within the region. The conference was widely praised for the diverse group of speakers and participants from different fields including defense, investment and technological reforms and advancements. Three days of intense discussions come to a close, with Bahrain once again proving itself a pioneer in bringing together global minds to work towards the region's defense, security and stability. Hamid Shaban, Bahrain International News. Bahrain International Defense Exhibition and Conference, BIDEC, closes today after three successful days, presenting a unique opportunity for exhibitors to showcase the latest technology, equipment and hardware across land, sea and air. More in this report with Hiba Abdul-Ghaffar. 
Bidek 2019 is a success story and a new international recognition of the distinction of the kingdom's outstanding organizational atmosphere and defense strategy, calling for activating international alliances to consolidate security, peace and stability, moreover transfer expertise. You can see a visitor come from all over the world uh, to visit uh, Bahrain to see all these companies coming from 60 countries with 200 companies. Uh, we had a really successful deals going on and uh, hopefully to see you in third edition of BIDIC 2021. This was a remarkable success. I think it brought together a lot of, uh, of countries, a lot of new technologies, a lot of uh, discussion. Uh, it, it showed that there was a great interest uh, in the region in cooperative ventures. I was pretty impressed, to be honest with you. Uh, you know, with these things, expectations are set pretty high, but I think they had a pretty reasonable bar. Um, I think they are very aware um, of the qualitative edge that they can provide. I'm impressed with the conference, I'm impressed with the exhibition. And everybody is, they are very pleased and honored to be in uh, Bahrain exhibition. We are uh, hearing and listening to the feedback from our colleague from international, uh, you know, uh, pavilion, they are participating, they are all well, uh, pleased to participate in uh, Bahrain. They are promising to be in their session in uh, Bahrain exhibition also in future. BIDIC 2019 served as the perfect platform for exhibitors from all over the world to showcase the latest military technologies and meet with defense industry clients from different countries under one roof. The event is amazing. I can't believe the amount of interest that we've had for our boats and we're Suzuki dealers and we're also Garmin dealers. So the event has been uh, so amazing for us thus far on day three. The show has grown fantastically. The opportunities have become more and bigger. Um, we had a smaller participation last time we were here, but uh, seeing how things are developing, we opted to have a bigger stand, a bigger representation. And it has uh, been very positive. We had a lot of meetings over the last uh, few days. Today is the last day, but as I said, we've been having meetings con continuously for the last three days. We've had a lot of success at the show, uh, a lot of high profile meetings with the PDF and uh, with the MOI. Um, and we plan to have um, some future product demonstrations here in Bahrain and we'll be back shortly with uh, our product. The traffic that we've had has been really good. We've seen uh, some of our existing customers and also been able to be introduced to potential new customers as well. So we did sign a deal at the end of the first day for 22 pieces, which is around 280,000 uh, US. After Bidoc 2019's success as one of the most comprehensive defense exhibitions and the most strategic in the region, exhibitors are already looking forward to take part in the upcoming edition of Bidoc. Today closes Bidoc 2019, a renewed success story reflecting the kingdom's prestigious status in the field of hosting defense strategic exhibitions and conferences. Heba Abdel Ghaffar, Bahrain International. Bidoc, the exhibition that has gathered a number of regional and international exhibitors and speakers who came all the way to showcase the prominent advances in military technology has reached a successful end. It's an excellent experience. It's the perfect uh, launching point for any new militaristic ideas. So far, we have been very successful in promoting our, our uh, military innovation in food. The exhibition has been the perfect launching site for our product we, because we have been selling for uh, the past two years and uh, we, we had a lot of uh, difficulties into reaching our, our specified crowd. So with this expo, we cut the distance very short. We met our targeted audience and we are very pleased with the expo and we're looking forward to more ventures like this. We met a lot of uh, international companies, existing partners that here uh, that we work with. So we uh, kind of advanced our relationship even better. We talked about some issues because sometimes you have to go traveling, you know. So it really abbreviates a lot of traveling uh, with uh, with a lot of international companies and also uh, on the on the in the defense industry. So I think it's it's amazing, and uh, I'm looking forward for 2021, inshallah.
basically mantic sol uh, mantic doing the solar system nowadays and uh, people are inquiring more about the solar uh, system uh, so we are doing great here and we got lot of exp uh, lot of inquiries from the customer you know uh, people are more interested about the solar and all these things and we are uh, getting good response and again we will participate in 2020 or BIDEC 2019 hosted a number of exhibitors and speakers from the global community to showcase the latest developments in aerospace and cyberspace innovations. More in this report by Sara Alborek. BIDEC in its second edition is hosting an array of exhibitors from around the world, but special highlights are put on our local industries. So uh, really, really excited and, uh, and uh, humbled and honored to be here at BIDEC 2019. This is actually my second time in Bahrain. I was at the, uh, the last Bahrain Air Show and really enjoyed my time there. It's a great show, as is BIDEC. Um, we're very proud of our longstanding 40-year partnership with the Kingdom of Bahrain. Um, as you may know, Bahrain was, our first, was the first F-16 customer in the Gulf region and also our very first uh, F-16 Block 70 customer. So we're very proud of both of those uh, milestones and our long-standing long partnership with, uh, with Bahrain. So. The number of exhibitors and speakers in BIDEC 2019 has also increased with topics varying in defense and cybersecurity, and largely on artificial intelligence and its incorporation into military fields. The cyber domain, cyber space, is now the one independent theater, together with uh, land, uh, mar maritime, and space. And uh, the, there are three new domains for us, cyberspace, one, another one is space, uh, the outer space, and the third one is electromagnetic spheres. So uh, we should uh, uh, invest more in such domains. Uh, as in the traditional three do domains. If not, we, we would not have a sort of uh, supremacy uh, for our defense. This is Sarl Breck reporting for Bahrain International. BITEC 2019 brought together more than 180 companies from around the world, contributing to positive signs of upward economic growth. More in this report. The second edition of the Bahrain International Defence Exhibition and Conference has grown stronger and bigger in terms of participants, visitors and exhibitors, which only reflects the international confidence that countries have in Bahrain and highlights the momentum that the military industry in the GCC is gathering. Bahrain uh, BIDEC is growing to be a very nice platform in the region. The timing is perfect. The size of the show is very good for us as companies coming from overseas because we get to see everybody. We reach out to most of the decision makers in the country and the neighboring countries. Uh, compared to the 2017 BIDEC, definitely there is a growth. There is uh, more organization and there is a better alignment of businesses with uh, end users. BIDEC 2017 was fantastic. It's what made us so interested in coming back to BIDEC 2019. The support we've received from the organization and from the BDF has been fantastic. It's made it really one of the main shows that we like to go to everywhere and support every year. It's an appointment and we'll make sure to come back next time around in two years. The event, which is a platform to exhibit the latest trends within the defense and military sector, aims to contribute to the growth and development of the military infrastructure, locally and regionally, and further position the kingdom on an international level, showcasing the kingdom's capabilities among the Arab and international markets. It's important, uh, I think, for a lot of folks here because it's an opportunity to come into the region and display uh, their, their equipment uh, and their services, uh, much as it is for us uh, being here for the first time uh, showcasing uh, the IOMAX Archangel. It met some folks from Bahrain and encouraged uh, us to uh, attend the show and to uh, be a participant, so uh, we, we, we looked into it and thought it was a great choice and we're already looking to the air show in 2020. Hosting such a strategic event positively reflects on the tourism and economy sectors of Bahrain and moves forward the economic and tourism progress through the massive participation of attendants and visitors. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Yasmin Ibrahim. 
Many features of military technology are discussed today at Memtech that is held alongside Bahrain International Defence Exhibition and Conference, BIDEC. A number of speakers from around the world with variety of backgrounds are here at Mamtik today to showcase the military technology and how these global developments will reshape regional conflicts in the Middle East. The exploration this morning uh, at Mamtik has been what are the new technologies that are coming along, but of course actually defence is really about human beings and how human beings react and we've also explored that interaction between humans and technology. Uh, and this is a fundamental question for all of us, uh, not just in this region, but across the world. Today, at the first session of MAMTIC, the speakers discussed the global military technology by reviewing the strategies of several countries as well as enhancing military technology in the current global balance of power. Our adversaries could utilize uh, in malicious attempt, so we should uh, continuously bolster our capability uh, on structural basis uh, and as well as as a uh, on the ground application of uh, our protection of systems. However, the second session focused on the importance of cybersecurity in light of the modern communications revolution and the role of regional and international cooperation. I believe cybersecurity was one. You know, with an ongoing technology uh, chain, there's always uh, this sort of race uh, for cybersecurity. And uh, cybersecurity is, you know, it's more of a mouse and cat sort of chase. And so whenever there are advances and advancements in technology, you've got the cybersecurity aspect advancing as well. Uh, we, we've all, also talked about how the factors, like the most recent factors that, are, that, that happened uh, in the last decade, changed the whole landscape for artificial intelligence. Again, as always, it was always more of a, an, an academic field, academic field, a lot of theory there. But now we're beginning to see how you, know, you, you can put things into practice in business slash military, let's say. Also, the impact of advances in artificial intelligence and armed forces, both now and in the future, was the focal point in the last session of MAMTIC. Iman Ibrahim, Bahrain International News. The official QS University ranking has been released, but the University of Bahrain was ranked as the first in the kingdom. The University of Bahrain was also ranked as number 23 of 1,200 Arab universities, which represents a two-position improvement from last year's ranking. This ranking represents the highest in the history of the University of Bahrain and comes as a result of the university's efforts to improve its standing in the Arab world to position number 15, which improves the reputation of graduates as they seek employment in the labour market. The university's president, Riyad Yosef Hamza, said that this improved ranking status is a result of the keen interest of His Majesty, King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, and the support of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, a Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, along with the efforts of the Supreme Council for the Development of Education and Training, and its Chairman, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, and the Board, headed by the Minister of Education, Majid bin Ali Al Nuaymi. The University's President explained that the move progresses will be made in order to achieve a higher international status, and the efforts are being made to push in that direction, including the adoption of the latest technologies to keep up with the digital economy and the use of artificial intelligence and business leadership. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Kingdom of Bahrain commenced the efforts of the friendly United States of America in eliminating the leader of the terrorist Daesh organization, Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi. It expressed appreciation for the vital role of the United States under President Donald Trump in combating terrorism and extremism, valuing its keenness to enhance security and stability at the regional and international levels. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs affirms that the Kingdom will continue working with its allies against all forms of extremism and terrorism, asserting its support to all international efforts that aim to eliminate counteract terrorist organisations and those who finance and support them.